to another math video from AlgebraTestHelper.com and what I want to show you here is how to graph a line in y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so in other words, a line that looks like this right here. Okay, uh, for example, we're going to actually do this. Uh, uh, we're going to graph this line here in a second. But a, a line in this format, okay, this particular line is y equals 3x plus 2, is a line in what we call um, uh, slope-intercept form or uh, it's probably more common that we call it a line in y equals mx plus b form. So let me just go and draw this little equation here or just write this out. y equals mx plus b. Okay. So you can see here this uh, equation y equals 3x plus 2 kind of follows this format. Okay. So the number in front of the x is the m. So in this case it's 3. And then this b, okay, um, if you look here in our um, example, y equals 3x plus 2, this b value is 2. Okay, so m is 3 and b is 2. So what, what does that mean? Okay, well b, b is what we call the y-intercept. It's, it's the point where a line crosses the y-axis. So for example, here if I have a line, okay, and it crosses through right at this point, okay, let's say this is 10, on the y-axis, that's b. Okay, so b would be equal to 10. Or if I have another line that goes through here, and let's say it crosses the y-axis at negative 5, b is equal to negative 5. Real, real easy. Okay, and then m is the slope of a line, okay, which is basically a uh, numeric value. It basically describes the angle of a line. Okay, so each line will have a slope. So this might be a slope of 2, this might be a slope of negative 1. Okay, so hopefully you're already familiar with this, okay, the, the, this concept of the slope. And if you're not, hop over to AlgebraTestHelper.com. I've got plenty of material on it. Okay, so let me just go ahead and erase all of this, and we'll go ahead and get into how to graph a line in y equals mx plus b form. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, if I'm given this line y equals 3x plus 2, and I said graph this line, you always, always want to start with the y-intercept, so that's 2. Okay, or specifically a positive 2. So we just go over to our y-axis. Okay, we go up 2. So here's 1, 2, and I'm going to plot a point. Okay, that's one point that's on that line. Okay, so it's pretty easy. All I need is two points, right? If I have a point and another point, I can graph the line. Okay, so I can't graph a, a line with just one point. I need, I need uh, two points. Okay, so how do we get another point? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to use this slope information to get our second point. And we're going to think of it kind of as a set of driving directions, if you will. Okay, from 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 this uh, y-intercept, okay, we're going to use the slope information to go to our next point. Now the slope, okay, the technical definition of the slope is the rise or the run. Okay, it's uh, basically, you can always think of it as a fraction. So here, if my slope is 3, really I can write that as the fraction 3 over, three over 1. Okay, so when we're thinking about the slope, we always want to think about it in terms of a fraction. So here, 3 would be the fraction 3 over 1. Okay, So this would be the rise, and this would be the run. Now, if you're totally lost about the slope, this video probably isn't, you're probably not ready for this video, so you want to jump over and learn a little bit about the slope. Okay, So the rise is how much a, a line goes up on the y-axis, and the run is how much a line goes over on the x-axis. So we know this line goes up 3 and over 1, okay? That's basically what it does. So from 2, okay, from this point here, 2, okay, this is the y-intercept, I'm going to go up 3, okay? I'm going to go, here, go ahead and just highlight this. I'm going to go up 3, and then I'm going to go over 1, and that's going to land me on a second point that's on this line. So let's go ahead and do that. So from 2, I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and then over 1, okay, right there. Okay, that puts me at the coordinate 1, 5, okay, because this was 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's the coordinate 1, 5. This first one, our y-intercept, was the coordinate 0, 2, okay? And now I have two points that are on this line, and all I need to do is to basically draw a line through those two points, and you're done, okay? You have the graph of the line y equals 3x plus 2. All right, so hopefully this video kind of cleared some, uh, clear some things up for you. If you're a little lost on the slope, um, I definitely suggest you come on over to AlgebraTestHelper.com. 
a great free, free resource. We've got a ton of um, stuff there for you. Okay, a lot of videos, uh, great tutorials, all designed to make math easy to learn. All right, so take care and good luck.